Daryl Brooks had a lot of dumb moments. Actually, his entire trial was nothing but one dumb moment after another. But this one really took the cake. This one concerns a Reddit post that was covered by a lot of commentators, but almost everyone missed Daryl's hidden gem of comedy. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With cold, blunt analysis cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from the exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's time for the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Before we begin, I want to play a little part of Judge Doro speaking before this whole brouhaha began. Take a look at her demeanor. Order. I'll wait for her. Cheerful, friendly, in high spirits. Well, that'll change soon. Because good old Daryl Brooks is going to enter the picture. So what happened? Well, I'll let Judge Doro explain. Um, I wanted to advise the parties that earlier today I received information from the clerk of court um, that she had received an email that uh, the person sending the email had found a post on Justice for Daryl on Reddit, so it's a subreddit. I'm not familiar with how Reddit works, but... Um... She says that she has no familiarity with Reddit, but I have a gut feeling that she's a long-time troller on there. I mention this only because there is someone going by the alias Daryl Sovsit Butt Kicker that tends to over-explain court procedures and cites a lot of Wisconsin statutes. I think it's her. And that the thread on the Justice for Daryl Reddit site uh, was claiming to be a member of the jury pool. <gasps> and I am going to provide the parties with the information that I was given this morning. It's a color copy um, of the attachment and the email that was sent. So here is the infamous Justice for Daryl post. It starts. I am a member of the jury on this case. Here are my thoughts on the trial and on the subreddit. So to start with, I obviously shouldn't be here. I'm not allowed to look up stuff about this trial or really have any connection with the internet, but nobody actually follows sequestering rules anyway. Hence, I am obviously posting anonymously. I accidentally wandered into here a few days ago from the subreddit drama thread on my main Reddit account. Here is my opinion on the trial. First off, I think it's pretty obvious due to the chain of custody that the defendant is in fact Mr. Brooks and he did do it. However, I've had throughout this trial doubts about various aspects of this case. Number one, the judge is clearly biased against Mr. Brooks. I got that feeling from when we were in the room and my eyes have been opened to how she acted towards him when the jury was out of the room. Clearly, she is not an impartial judge and has been trying to belittle, demean, bully, and pull procedural tricks on him fairly frequently. I had my doubts already, but the subreddit has shown it to me clearly. Mr. Brooks has clearly not been given the chance to plead his case in court. He has been silenced and mocked at almost every turn. While he may be a bit loud or crass at times, I still believe his side deserves to be heard. Number three, I do have significant doubts about the subject matter jurisdiction. I didn't understand it when discussed in court because the defendant was repeatedly silenced. But I do understand now thanks to this sub, and I agree that subject matter jurisdiction is a great concern here. Number four, this subreddit has made me aware of jury nullification, and I am very grateful for that. Overall, I'm not sure what I will decide. I'm not educated in law, and I have to admit I'm biased against the defendant for the horrible acts he did. However, it is also clear that this trial is a complete kangaroo court. Mr. Brooks has not been allowed to try and prove his innocence, subject matter jurisdiction, or explain the circumstances surrounding the events. It's hard to imagine what could justify it, but we just can't know because of this trial. For these reasons, I'm torn between locking him up and throwing away the key or jury nullification. Both have arguments for and against them, and I'm not looking forward to choosing. I'm mostly writing this to help myself process my thoughts on this, but please let me know what you think. The anonymous post claimed to be a member of the jury on the case, and here are my thoughts on the trial and on this subreddit. And apparently, again, it's a subreddit uh, called Justice for Daryl. Um, I then uh, had contact with uh, Captain Dussault, 
advised him that this should be investigated and basically turned over the matter to law enforcement for a full investigation. Gee, that sounds reasonable. And um, of course, I am concerned about the integrity of these proceedings and I will take whatever action that I deem appropriate once a full investigation um, is done. But at this point, there is uh, no, I would say, credible information that this is, in fact, a member of the jury. Um, but I will leave that for law enforcement to determine. And if, of course, if need be, at the conclusion of the case, when the jury <clears throat> reaches a verdict, um, I certainly will consider whether any questioning of the jurors at that point is warranted. Um, so that's the information I wanted to provide. But this is Daryl Brooks we're talking about. I mean, look at him. He's trying to figure out, hmm, someone on the jury is considering jury nullification. Says I'm not being given a fair trial. Is this good for me or bad? Again, copies of this information will be provided to the parties and there is a full investigation underway by the Sheriff's Department. I Judge Doro thinks that this is settled for the time being. The Sheriff is looking into it. There is nothing else to say until we learn more from the investigation. I have no further information about it at this time. I will not be the judge that will further be reviewing it in terms of any requests related to that investigation. I will simply be handling whether uh, any requests as it relates to this case in particular. But she knows, oh, she knows, there is that voice out there waiting to burst out. She's just praying that he got a mysterious case of lockjaw or will go into an epileptic seizure. But luck is not on her side. Let me provide those. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Don't say go ahead. Pretend you didn't hear him. Call a recess. But for the love of God, don't say go ahead. I'm making sure you use go ahead. first. <laughs> what is this? All I can tell you, sir, is that there is apparently on the internet, on a site, or maybe it's an application, I'm not entirely sure, called Reddit. There is a subreddit um, that is entitled Justice for Daryl, and it was on that subreddit that someone wrote an anonymous post claiming to be a, one of the jurors. That, of course, would be a violation of the rules that I set up for the jurors, uh, which is why I turned over the information to law enforcement so they could make a full and complete investigation. Uh, for the record, I uh, accept for value and return for value these documents. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. I'm... At this point, sir, I'm providing the information. Um, I trust that the parties will review it, and if a party believes that any request needs to be made of this court, <coughs> then an appropriate request will be made. Um, but at this point, I'm just advising the parties of the information that I have. Nice try, Judge, but too late. You just awakened the objection monster. You're not getting out of this that easy. And I will add this. Um, I will, of course, um, it's important that the results of any investigation be turned over to the parties. I don't know how long that will take, um, but... Um, that is also my direction. That was really the only direction I gave to law enforcement is that that uh, the results of the investigation that be turned over to the parties. Was yes. this? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Was was this just found out about this morning? Um, yes. The email that was sent to the clerk of court was received at 9:10 a.m. Um, and then that email. <coughs> And the attachment, um, I'm aware of a second, I will say I'm aware of a second email that was sent to our clerk of court at 10.02 a.m. Um, <coughs> and any, I, I think there, when we stepped off the bench uh, following the case being given to the jury, I was advised that other emails had been received throughout the court system. And I simply said, obviously, that information needs to go to law enforcement. I haven't seen it, haven't reviewed it. 
Um, but any person who works in the clerk of court's <coughs> office who has received an email will be that email about this topic will be forwarded to the sheriff's department. Um, their forensic unit is handling the investigation, to my understanding. Attorney Upper, did you have a question or something to state? Yes, Your Honor. I just wanted to state for the record that I have also received similar emails at my office this afternoon. They were sent not to me directly, but to the district attorney's office website and. Um, I only wanted to point out that in viewing the content of the posting, well, first of all, all the emails refer to the exact same posting and the language is the exact same in all the postings. Um, in viewing the content of the posting, uh, we question the veracity of the posting because it refers to things that, quite frankly, are not true. And um, also, uh, upon reviewing it, Your Honor, we came to the conclusion that it does not exhibit any material prejudice against Daryl Brooks that may affect the veracity of any verdict that may be returned in this case. The posting is largely critical of the court and to some extent uh, the prosecution, but it, the, the nature of the posting is actually in support of Mr. Brooks. That's why it's under a subreddit called Justice for Daryl. And I don't believe there's any reasonable reading of this post that would lead someone to believe that it suggests the juror harbors substantial or material prejudice against the defendant. You hear that, Daryl? The post works in your favor. Even the prosecution is cluing you in to that fact. And he'll never understand it in a million years, just like he'll never understand what the word veracity means. Thank you. I appreciate the additional record. Can I say something, Your Honor? Go ahead. No. The proper response is no. Until the investigation completes, there is nothing more to be said about this. Have we not learned our lesson? Just briefly skimming through it. I, I do want to state for the record that I have no involvement with this. When someone says, I had no involvement, that usually means they had some involvement. In this case here, however, I don't think he did. He'll go out of his way to make himself look complicit anyway. I'm fairly really like shocked like this even came to light um i will say just by skimming through it these are definitely things that have been talked about in the court so I have to i mean common sense would say that this came from someone that has either been in the court to hear what goes on in the court or a, a jury member. There's, there's no other way. Well, actually, because the, the proceedings are live streamed worldwide, Your Honor, available on YouTube worldwide, so I don't agree with that assessment. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this would come from somebody who's actually Thing is pretty clear pretty clear what daryl please don't tell me you choked on the words you wanted to say because the prosecutor already tore your claim a new asshole well i am leaving it in the hands of law enforcement to do a full <coughs> complete investigation again i take the integrity of this process incredibly seriously and if there were to be a juror who violated the rules I would take that very seriously, and I will not hesitate to take any action that I deem appropriate. At this time, it is simply being investigated. This was an anonymous post, and um, if either party believes any further action needs to take place as it relates to this particular jury, then I trust they'll file the appropriate request with the court. So with that, uh, the courtroom, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Something else, Attorney Apple? A different topic, Your Honor. Oh, sure. Possible. Go ahead. Amazingly, that shut down conversation about the Reddit post, at least for the time being. 
But on the next day... So this is the next day, and look at her hair. Usually, this is the frazzled look of a defendant in a murder trial, about to be sentenced. But no, this is the judge after two weeks of dealing with Daryl Brooks. The only other thing I would put on the record is I have received information regarding the Reddit post, uh, that there was a subsequent post from that website uh, indicating that it was a prank. Um, and so I know, I don't know to what extent the Sheriff's Department uh, is looking into that as well, but it's my understanding um, based on news reports that uh, that entire post or site was taken down. Not the site of Reddit, but it's no longer, I believe, viewable. But there was that additional information uh, regarding that, at least from the administrator, I believe, of that post. So I just wanted to put that on the record. And uh, if and when, or I should say when, uh, the investigation is completed, uh, I will assure the parties that you will be provided with that information. Well, that sounds reasonable. It appears to have been a mere prank, but they're going to investigate it regardless. But Reasonable and Daryl Brooks are not exactly drinking buddies. And away we go. So, so go ahead. You'll never learn. So it's being called a prank. Per the Reddit post itself, yes. So we, so we don't have any idea if that's a, a fact, though, right? You're correct. <clears throat> I'm just putting on the record the additional information that's been reported on. Um, and then again, once the Sheriff's Department concludes their investigation, uh, it will be turned over to the parties. So at this point, um, until there's a question or a verdict, um, courtroom will remain open. I'm going to be working in my office on other things uh, and will be available, of course, if there are any questions or if a verdict is reached. Right. Yeah, I don't think so. If you were planning on using the recess time to go get some shopping done, old Daryl will straighten you out on a thing or two. So notify the parties. Judge. Yes. Was, oh, go ahead. Did you hear that groan from everyone in viewer land? Go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm still very concerned about this whole uh, Reddit thing after having the chance to fully read it and um, look at some of the language that's in it. Um, He's so concerned. Why, dude, the person who claimed to be a juror is your only hope. If anyone should be concerned, it would be the prosecution. But they're not concerned because they know it was just a prank. At this point, I'm going to put a ticker to mark the number of times he says he's concerned, among other things. It's, it's very concerning. That's why there's an investigation, sir. It's anytime there's an allegation that the integrity of this judicial process has been compromised, especially with a juror, I take that incredibly seriously, which is why I turned it over to the Sheriff's Department. Yeah, nice, reasonable explanation. But don't let his nodding head fool you. He's just getting warmed up. I would uh, like your honor to, if it pleases the... Uh... The court and if it Duro needed to learn to step in and say, it doesn't please the court. I don't even know what you're going to say, but I can tell you that it will completely displease the court. It pleases your honor. I would like to look at some alternatives. If if I may bring up the uh, and, and in regards to the language. I also want to state that, uh, for the record, uh, this did not come about from the prosecution side, from the defense side, and certainly not from your honor side. Well, I'm glad to know that I wasn't involved in going on Reddit and posting comments about my proceedings being a kangaroo court. For a while there, I was wondering if I had done it. Two nights ago, I blacked out for almost three hours, and when I woke up, my Firefox was open to Reddit, and I was wondering if I had done it, like the character in Megadeth's Sweating Bullets. Yeah, Daryl, I highly doubt she was involved, although I'm pretty sure it gives her a migraine headache sinking down to your level. Um, this is something that just pretty much sprang up. Um, a lot of my concern, though, just not from just the language and 
the actual post, but um, I was kind of concerned that uh, I was the last one to learn of this information. It had been known. Well, you know it now, so let's move on. Uh, I wasn't aware of it until after 6.30 last night. Um, or around that time, because I, I don't want to misquote the record, but somewhere around that time. It was shortly after 7. Oh, so it was after, I, I didn't know. I, I thought it was, I knew it was after 6.30, but I didn't want to incorrect, incorrectly state. Um, yeah, we wouldn't want that. That would be terrible. The record. Your I can Honor, address that for you right now if you would like. Yeah. I, 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 um, if it pleases you, it pleases your honor. I would, it doesn't. So let's move on. I would like to uh, request some alternatives to 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 this uh, issue. He wants to use this to have the judge throw out all the charges. He doesn't have the nerve to offer that one, though. So in his mind, he settles on having the judge declare a mistrial. But even still, he knows that such a request is ludicrous. So he has to drum up the nerve to request it. Watch now how he dances around disclosing these alternatives and how reluctant he is to offer them. Um. What's your specific request? My specific request would be to, uh... Come on, Daryl, spit it out. Look, I want to make sure that everyone is comfortable offering ideas. Sometimes, some great ideas come out from people who thought that others might find them silly. And I know that you're not a trained lawyer, so I'm going to give you a lot of leeway. So please, don't be afraid to tell me what you have in mind. I promise not to laugh. Look into a mistrial. <laughs> a mistrial. <laughs> yeah, sure, Daryl. A mistrial. That may be the stupidest thing I've heard all week. And given that you're an uneducated dimwit representing himself, that's saying something. And also any alternatives uh, along those lines, short of that, or along those lines, or a mistrial. Um, I was looking at some, obviously, yesterday was very, very long for, for, for everybody. Yeah, because of you. Um, and as you know, because of my status, uh, here in the, the jail, I'm allowed to have uh, law library time up until a certain point of the evening, and then I have to shut it down <clears throat> per jail policy. Uh, so I was I was able to find a few different things that I wanted to bring to uh, your honor's attention, if I may. Go ahead. Um, no, come on, judge. Seriously. One being uh, uh, United States versus Perez, uh, 22 U.S. 579. And that specifically, I think it's referenced because that one is pretty old in itself, but it's referenced in a lot of the other uh, case laws that I actually found, I think. And I could be, if I'm interpreting this incorrectly, I apologize. Um, they kind of use that as kind of like the benchmark uh, for what they refer to as uh, manifest necessity. That's kind of like one of the leading cases that each one references. How's that shopping coming along, Judge? Uh, in regards to issues similar to two things like this when it when it comes into play. Um, and it specifically uh, points to uh, trial judge's discretion. And um, I think that's kind of like the leading one. Also, I looked at uh, Brown versus Rushton, Rush, Rushton, uh, 572 
F.3D uh, 198, which speaks to uh, the language is basically it speaks to the same thing. It speaks about uh, manifest necessity. Uh, it, it, it speaks about um, uh, if there's an issue of uh, exculpatory evidence. People are making fun of Daryl because they think he meant to say manifest destiny. No, there is such a thing as manifest necessity, which states that when the fairness of a trial has been hopelessly compromised, the court has no other choice but to declare a mistrial. Things of that nature. Um, also, uh, United States versus Bates, um, that's B-A-T-E-S, uh, 917-F-2-D-388. Um, Daryl, throughout the past two weeks, you never bothered to do any research at all. But now that the jury is deliberating, you all of a sudden spring into action. The judge isn't going to give you extra credit for any homework you do after the turn-in date. It's too late. The jury is already deliberating over your guilt or innocence, and also how many packs of cigarettes you'll be traded around for while you're in prison. And that speaks of uh potential for an impartial verdict. Specifically, it says it, uh, along the lines of an uh, impartial verdict, if an impartial verdict can be reached or if a verdict of conviction could be reached but would have to be reversed on appeal due to an obvious procedural error in the trial, uh, that's one of the main issues that that, that speaks to. Um, I also looked at uh, Arizona versus Washington, uh, 434 U.S. 497. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers. And that speaks to what I was stating before. Um, it says uh, neither party in a case has a right to have his case decided by a jury, which may be tainted by bias and I, and I say that because it certainly wasn't uh, any anything dealing with the prosecution. They had nothing to do with this. The defense had nothing to do with this and certainly you, Your Honor, had nothing to do with this, but just for the concern factor, uh, the language, uh, it's pretty clear that, that this, if not directly came from a juror who sits on this panel. It came from someone who sits in this courtroom every single day. The language it, it directed towards you, Your Honor, directed towards uh, having clear bias towards the defense. Some of the things that they quoted of having knowledge of is, is extremely concerning extremely concerning and then going back to some of these um, case laws that I cited it talks about um, something to the effect of uh, you know the, the ends of public justice the three members of the prosecution here are probably doing the shopping that the judge would love to be doing right now how's that sure go ahead Looking now, Judge. Um, but I think that is leaning more so towards the judge's discretion, I would say, at least from how I was interpreting, interpreting it. Um, obviously, I'm not educated in a lot of the laws in itself. No. Yeah, I do. No. But how I was interpreting it, um, <clears throat> This is definitely, definitely a concerning issue. It's definitely something that I would request your honor to take a, 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 a long look at. Um, look at some options, look at some alternatives. Then those, those case laws I cited talks specifically about that, um, options that um, you, your honor, can, can look at and, and, and use your discretion to 
see if it's appropriate in any in any way, but um, I'm extremely concerned about this. Um, if, if if anything, for for cautionary reasons, um, I believe, Your Honor, that you definitely should. Um, Take a look at everything I'm, I'm, I'm saying here, and uh, these case laws, and and. Um, What's the request though that you're making, based upon the case law that you cite? Judge, Best Buy closes at nine. You really want him to go into this? I heard in their mistrial, but I want to make sure I understand the your request for relief and what it is. You said request for relief. Relief. Like what are you um, asking me to do based upon the information that we, the limited information we have about the Reddit post and this trial? Um, I guess my request would be because of the concern of this to look at uh, a mistrial or at the very least, a, a, a discharge of, a, of the jury at this time. Okay, Daryl. I think it's time that I have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. Here goes. You idiot. Right now, there isn't a living soul with a pulse that thinks you stand a chance of an acquittal. Your only prayer was that someone would stand up to the other 11 and say, I refuse to convict because of jury nullification. I just don't think that murder should be a crime. In fact, you spent half a day telling the judge that you were going to tell the jury that they had the power to nullify the jury's decision. The judge spent an inordinate amount of time admonishing you for even bringing up the issue of jury nullification, and you clung to it like floating debris after a shipwreck. And one of the jury members, supposedly, says that they're willing to consider jury nullification this juror was your salvation your only prayer and you want to throw the jury out and get a new one daryl you're the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived so this can be resolved this is this is this is alarming to say the least um this post and i i don't know what reddit is to be honest i've i've never heard of it or used it so I, I don't know the extent of it's almost like this could be like a snowball type of thing it can it can start with something that that's this small and then it can snowball out of control into something totally different you mean this could snowball to the point where all 12 members of the jury are willing to nullify the verdict gee we wouldn't want that would we i don't know the extent of this website um, I don't know who, well, I think the name of the person who sent the, uh, to, to, who alerted the clerk, of course, to, uh, to this post, I think his name is in, is, is, is in, the, um, the email, but then that even asks the qu begs the question of how did this person come across this site? <laughs> First of all, it raises the question, not begs the question. Begging the question has a distinct meaning. Second of all, I know you weren't involved in the Reddit post, but you're going out of your way to sound guilty. What, are, what, what, what is their significance to this? What is their role in this? It's, it's just so many questions. And, and I mean, clearly this, this points at the court's integrity, it points at your integrity, Your Honor. It, I'm sure she feels a lot better knowing that you're there to defend her honor. This points at the court's integrity. It points at your integrity, Your Honor. It, it's, it's, it's alarming. It's very alarming. And if there's a chance that there can be hidden bias in this jury, it needs to be addressed now rather than later. Oh, you mean like having the sheriff investigate it? This is very concerning.
Well, thank you for bringing up your concerns. Let me turn to the state if they want to respond and then see what other issues they want to cover this morning. Judge, the original post was on a subreddit thread called Justice for Daryl. Um, that's the copy that the defendant has in front of him. That post was edited last night, uh, claiming that it was a prank from the start and that the original poster is uh, didn't think it would get that far out of hand. The way that Reddit works, the only person who can mod, uh, excuse me, modify the content of the original post is the original poster, and because the jurors have um, no access to any electronic devices, I think it's safe to say that our 12 jurors back there are not one of the, are not the original poster. So I think that that puts that issue pretty much to bed. It's still. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You hold on to that thought obviously under investigation because the court takes it so seriously but um, there really is no um, actionable or any real reason why um, we should doubt the jury's um, being unbiased in this case I object to that on the grounds your honor that like you just said it, it's an investigation going on and if there's a investigation, <laughs> then that clearly says that something is amiss. You're right. There are all these questions that are still out there. If only there was a way to answer them. Oh, I know. How about we have the sheriff conduct an investigation? Um, we have 16, well, 15. We have 15 jurors. Uh, we. There's still too many questions that we don't know. Too many. Um, I don't think anything's put to bed because we don't know. It, it's, it's, it's unfair to say that the issue was put to bed when there's still so many questions left out there. I'm, I'm sure you reviewed it yourself, Your Honor. You, you see the language in this, whatever it is, thread. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's clearly a post from somebody who has intimate knowledge of, of the trial and, 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 and what's going on in the trial. Oh, yeah. Like the 200,000 people who are watching the trial on YouTube. I, I don't think. I mean, common sense would. would common sense? You? Okay. Tell you that this is someone who's very close to the case whether whether they were intending to be funny whether they were intending to try to uh, prank the court or anything like that we don't know that could be anybody's guess the language in this the way that, that the way it is formatted they lay out four specific points of what, what they think the way that they used bullet points to itemize their statements only a juror would ever do something like that really the way it's formatted? You mean like font selection? Kerning? Margins? Uh, they point to certain language in, in the case. Uh, they make references to saying when we were in the room, they got certain feelings from when deep we're... They specifically refer to themselves and a group. That would be we. Yeah, they used a plural pronoun because they were referring to themselves and the other 11 jurors. That's not exactly a smoking gun. Plural. Um, they, they say... And I have to admit, I am biased against the defendant for the horrible acts he did. Dude, that's everyone. I think you can even include your mother in that population. That's not specific to jurors. That sentiment towards you is not exactly relegated to jurors. I mean, that's everyone. I think you can even include your mother in that population. And, and they attack you, Your Honor. They, they clearly attack you. 
this this is this is <clears throat> if this is I is someone's idea of fun, is is anybody's guess, but I don't believe that it is clearly by the way it's formatted and by the language that, that is in it. This is clearly someone with intimate knowledge of the case and what's going on. Clearly. It, there's no other way there's no other way to interpret this. You can tell by just by the, the, what they're laying out in the language that they're speaking with that this is clearly someone co close to the case. And, and because of that, it still has to be, um, I'm informed of the investigation, but there's still too many questions left in the air just from this. How, how can we say anything's put to bed when there's still a, a, an investigation? For all we know, what if, what if this turns up that it was someone on the jury or what, what, what if then that person nullifies the verdict and you get a mistrial, which is what I thought you were wanting. It turns out that more people are involved in it than just whoever this anonymous uh, person was who left the post. It's too many questions and it's too concerning. What if something like this springs up again at the last minute? We've We've been going through the trial now for basically three weeks, the better part of three weeks. And even even in uh, court dates leading up to the trial, we've never had anything like this happen. Nothing like this has been brought to your attention. Nothing like this has been been brought before the court's attention. It's, this just came out of the blue and all. Oh, so this has never happened before. So I guess we have to let you go. <laughs> Is that how it goes there, Daryl? This is the first time, so you get a free pass? All of a sudden, it's, it's being labeled a prank. Is that because they were found out? I mean, it, it, beg, it begs so many questions. It's, it's, it's too uncertain, it's, it's too concerning, and it's, it's too alarming. It's too alarming to just overlook and say, oh, well, we'll just, we'll just set it to the side and let them know. This, this, there has to be some type of alternatives and some type, something has to be done. Yeah, Daryl, they're investigating it. That's what they're doing. Something. And if that's a mistrial, if that's uh, 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 discharging a jury, if that's some other type of alternatives that can be looked at, I'm, I'm sure that uh, these case law speaks to other options that could come into play. They deserve to at least be looked at, if, if anything, to protect the integrity of the trial. I, I find it very hard to believe that this close um, to the trial being over, and now all of a sudden, these issues are being raised. So this is obviously not a prank, and it's obvious that this is someone with intimate knowledge. It's, it's very it's very clear to me. Well, let me address your concerns, sir. Um, I cannot make conclusions at this point about whether this is legitimate or a prank. What I know is as follows. I received the information about the subreddit post at approximately <clears throat> 930, 940 yesterday morning. I and I alone made the decision to withhold advising the parties because of where we were at in the trial, because there was nothing in that post, it was an anonymous post, that would lend credibility to that it was in fact one of these jurors. But out of an abundance of caution, I referred it to law enforcement because it is very serious if the integrity of these proceedings were to be put at issue by a juror. I'd remind you though, every single day these jurors were read uh, the bulk of jury instruction 50. They all took an oath, and I have no reason to doubt that they would violate that oath at this time. So I took and I made the decision to withhold telling the parties because we were in the middle of instructing the jury. I was in the middle of instructing the jury, and I wasn't going to delay the proceedings because it was so speculative at that point and remains speculative at this point. Um, as you know, the case went to the jury. 
I brought this up. I waited about a half an hour once the case went to the jury. Uh, frankly, we had had a long day. I wanted to get a bit to eat, and then I wanted to come back out and make a record of what I had. Once again, the forensic unit with the Sheriff's Department has taken lead of this investigation. I'm not a part of that investigation. Law enforcement will handle it. From my perspective, um, not only did the clerk of court's office receive uh, emails regarding this, it sounds like the district attorney received emails. Um, I may have even gotten one. I don't remember the time. It was later regarding the post. Frankly, people figure out my email all the time. It was not solicited by me in any way, and I did not respond to it, and I simply forwarded that email on to law enforcement. So it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people have access to Reddit. I personally am not a user of Reddit, so I don't know the ins and outs of it, other than it is a social media site uh, where people can create accounts uh, and post, and there can be like chat rooms, for example, or just various, as this is called, subreddits. Um, and at this point, you've requested a mistrial. Um, you've requested that I discharge the jury. I'm declining to do that at this time, sir. Again, I need to make decisions based upon the record that's before me. And right now, the record is speculative. There are no facts to support a mistrial or discharging the jury. I trust the parties will continue in their own independent investigations, uh, that you will continue reviewing case law, make whatever requests that you deem appropriate. I certainly will take time uh, to look at the cases you have cited um, to see if there's anything uh, based upon the requests that you have made that I would need to further <coughs> review. Uh, but at this time, I do not see grounds for a mistrial. I do not see grounds to discharge the jury. Um, and um, that is how I will address it at this point. If I'm the judge, I would be tempted to tell him, hey, we found out that there was a juror that made the post who is committed to finding you not guilty. Said something about jury nullification. I guess we'll take you up on that alternative to have the jury replaced with a new one. I wonder what he would say then. Like my video, subscribe to my channel.